everybody so we're gonna be doing a video about some cleaners today so I picked up picked up purple power in just a 32 ounce bottle I also picked up purple power foaming all-purpose citrus cleaner in and it's orange it smells like oranges and I picked up super clean and um, majority of the interior the dash the arm pieces and everything like that I had cleaned and my wife ended up helping on purple power so stick around check out the video check out the video and I'll see you guys there thank you for watching so this is the passenger side arm um, and it has the section where you can put your hand when you close the door um, on my 2004 runner this one is pretty dirty doesn't look like the camera's picking it up very well um, when the light the sun comes up I will do a video on the driver's side you see all this kind of dark nastiness right here this was literally on my side the driver's side it was from here all the way around to like right here so it took up like 80 percent of it and it was a good quarter inch thick you could scratch it you could see how nasty it is um my wife cleaned up the driver's side one she scrubbed it with this brush for a while with purple power and it came out really clean it actually was gray and blue again so we're gonna do the same for this side and I will splice in the video for the driver's side when the Sun comes up so you guys can see how clean it came out but so this is a short video um, I do like purple power it works very well I tested purple power original industrial strength and the citrus and the super clean on the truck on the interior like the dash and everything else and the purple power purple power itself with the purple liquid worked 10 times better on grease than the citrus cleaner but the citrus cleaner worked well on like the um, stick shift and and you know some of the dash stuff and something like that and the super clean worked really well on the um, the the center console panels. So this video we're going to be talking particularly about purple power with the purple liquid, the industrial strength, and um, stick around for the video. And hopefully you like what you know how well it does. And I was pretty impressed with it. So um, let's get this sprayed down and let it soak for a little bit.
you can see it's starting to turn blue and all I did was spray it. that the foam's turning to brown. I didn't see any any problems with it. It made the fabric clean, but it didn't destroy the fabric from what I saw. And my wife used probably two or three ounces of it. So she was cleaning it. very odd smell to it too, but it seems to work very well. You see how it's turning this yellow color. There's a lot of dirt in this hand rest. Pure dirt coming out, coming out yellow, like sweat, sweaty dirt. For just a few minutes of scrubbing, and it's already a lot cleaner than it was. You could tell it, it blew again. It's just a cheap little like 50 cent or dollar toothbrush.
But that's just a little demonstration of what purple power can do on the fabric in your car. And all this yellow stuff is the glue that they put on it. I'll put in the rest of this video um, what it looks like in the daylight on what's already been finished and dried. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey everybody, so this is a continuation of the purple power use on some 2000 Toyota 4 Runner armrests. I might be using it on some other stuff. I did notice, and my wife did notice, that on plastic it does leave like an oily film. Um, so best bet would be to just, uh, after you're done cleaning whatever you're cleaning, whether it's you know plastic on the dash or your steering wheel or whatever, because it, it did leave an oily film and I can wipe the dust off, so it's collecting dust. But, um, this is what it looks like. So that's the panel itself. And that's the armrest. The armrest is actually cleaner than the panel. And I got all the built up grease and everything that was on the handle and everything else. There's actually, you, this is so clean, you can actually see the green specks inside the fabric. Because there's actual green, blue, and tan specks. Um, I did the dash. I did use pur Purple Power on the navigation system because it's the touch screen. And then what I did after I did that, it dried for 10-15 minutes and then what I did is I just used glass cleaner to clean it the dash I need to peel this up and I need to clean the dash because the dash is nasty it's got fucking from off-roading and all kinds of shit underneath the mat but that's the passenger side that's the one I did at the beginning of the video and that's the panel so, it came out really nice compared to what it was, because um, I'm a mechanic. So, um, I would just, I'd already be greasy, I'd jump in the truck and I'd go grab extra parts for another vehicle or whatever I was doing, whatever was needed. I had, you know, um, some of my employees are like, hey, I need another you know, four or five of these parts because I just got three or four of these cars in, blah, blah, blah. So I would just jump in the truck even though I was dirty. And it ended up being from here all the way to here and co more concentrated right here around the handle. It was like a quarter inch, quarter inch thick around this section. And it would just it, it just kept building and building and building to the point that you know I was like you know what they need to be cleaned. Um, I'm surprised that the purple power actually killed all the the grease and the grime, but it didn't harm the fabric. And you know what I did to get the rid of the purple power smell is I just sprayed some Febreze on the fabric and let it soak in. Um, I would like to clean the panel, but I'm not. No, I'm not sure how 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 well that would come out. Um, but I did clean the entire dash. I cleaned the the glass right here, or plastic, yeah, plastic, whatever. And I cleaned all the nasty grease off the the turn signal switch and the headlights and the fog switch, and also on this side off of the windshield wiper switch. I cleaned around all the vents, but you could tell that it does leave a, it does leave a kind of a film, like a, a degreasing film. So you're gonna wanna come back on like plastic parts and stuff like that, and you're gonna wanna spray it down with like glass cleaner or something else to, to get rid of the degreasing film. But all in all, 
this door is the only door that was cleaned and I had a quarter inch thick piece of dirt right here where I rest my arm and it's super clean so what I'm gonna do and my wife's probably gonna help me is I'm gonna do the all the rest of the doors we're gonna clean the carpets and everything because um, it's a it's a dirt truck you know I use it for everyday driving but I also use it for um, going out and playing in the dunes and and you know rock crawling and shit like that so it's got quite a bit of dirt in the mats and on the carpet so all that needs to be clean the outside is pretty dirty you know but you know what do you expect it's a it's a dirt truck slash you know four by four you know everybody uses their four by fours for playing in the dirt but I just figured I'd give you know, guys the, the end result of how well Purple Power worked on fabric, um, especially upholstery in a vehicle. I, I think I'm going to lift the seat covers up, spray it down, and see if I can get some of the dirt out of the seats. Even though the dirt, majority of it's probably in the, in the seat covers because when I bought the truck, I immediately put seat covers on it. So... And then we gotta hook this up into the truck and uh, set that up so it can be used so I can do my review and everything on that. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you guys want to see future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links and um, click the all button um, for the bell. Um, and. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.